we came over here, we knew we were the Israelites. But he put those chains on us and broke us into calling us black, African American. We, we, we no longer called ourselves the Israelites. Right. We were destroyed as a people. We accepted the white image of Christ. Right. When the Bible tells you Christ is a black man with woolly hair. That's right. Uh, what's your name, bro? Amir. Amir? I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. But you're going to find out today that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's Give right. me what the truth is. We're going to show you the truth today, brother. Because you've been taught lies. All right? In the Christian church, you go to church. I'm telling you, the church ain't teaching you the truth. We're right. going to teach you the truth today. That's right. right. Psalm chapter... John chapter 8 verse 32 no. And ye shall know the truth right. And the truth shall make ye free So today brother Amir It says you shall know the truth And the truth shall do what? Set you free We gonna set you free today brother From the bondage of your mind That the white man had you in Read Psalms 119 142 Psalms chapter 119 verse 142 Bring it Thy out. righteousness is an everlasting righteousness And thy love is the truth. And thy what? And thy law is the truth. So what's the truth, brother? The laws, the laws of God. So once you come back and keep God's law, he's gonna come back and rescue one third of Israel and put us back in our promised land as he has promised us. That's uh -huh. right. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. We're gonna show you that you're an Israelite today, brother. All right, read that. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. You familiar with Moses rescuing the children of Israel out of Egypt? When he went out of Egypt, he's talking to the Israel in where? On this side, Jordan, in the wilderness. In the wilderness. So who's Moses talking to? The Israelites. He talked to the Israelites in the wilderness. Give me that Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So, my question to you now, brother. Are we above all nations right now? Are we? You sure? No. No, we're not. We're on the bottom. We're on the bottom. Why are we on the bottom? Because we didn't obey God's law. That's right. Read 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling the children of Israel, if we didn't listen to God, what would happen? To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it said curses was going to come upon us if we didn't obey God. Curse a good thing or a bad thing. Bad, right? So who Moses is talking to though? The Israelite. Give me 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall be, uh, curse shall thou be in the city. It said, curse shall we be in the city. Look around. Are people cursing the city today? You got drugs running through the community. Whoa. We got, we killing each other. Liquor store in every corner. We waiting at the bus stop where we should own the damn bus stop. Because this world was created for us. That's, That's right. right. Read. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. When were we cursed in the field, brother? Long time in there. What's it called? Cotton field, right? Sugar cane field. But who Moses talking to? Israelites. Israelites. Give me 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to us? When that happen to us? Okay. Read. And thine eyes shall, shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So, if you had a child, and let's say a master from North Carolina came down, take your child from here in Columbia, right? Said you had no might in your hand to get them back. Why? Because when you try to get them back, what would happen? Oh hell, they're probably going to kill you behind. All right, give me 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. So, are we serving our enemies today? Give me uh, first, first Corinthians 11 and 3. First Corinthians chapter 11 
and verse 3. No. But, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So, the head of every man is who? Christ. Christ, right? All right. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man, right? Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So when the word is coming out, we are praying and prophesying in front of you. So it said, every man that have his head covered, dishonoreth who? His head. Who's your head? Look, who's your head? What it say? Read it again. Read three again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. So when the word is coming out, you have your head covered. Who are you dishonoring? Christ. So are you going to continue to dishonor Christ or are you going to take off your head man to show Christ that you are showing repentance towards him? All oh, praise, brother. All oh, praise. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Oh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Are we serving our enemies today? You work for them, right? You got a job, you work for your enemy. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. So who, who sent our enemies against us? Christ, because why? We disobeyed his law, statutes, and commandments. How you doing today, brother? We are here teaching our people who we are according to the Bible that we are the Israelites, the greatest people that ever walked this planet Earth. That's right. right. What's your name? Israel? Uh-huh. What's your name? Andre. Andre. I'm, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Right now, we're going over the curses, showing our people that we are the Israelites. All right? Finish there at 48. In hunger. In hunger. We have something to eat today, bro? We have something to eat today? What you have to eat? Sarah, where you get it from? Your house? From your house, where did it come from? Stove? Who owned that stove? The enemy. He said you're going to serve your enemy for what? In hunger. And what? And in thirst. And in thirst. You had something to drink there? I'm pretty sure you're going to get something to drink there. Who, who that going to come from? Your enemy. We. And in nakedness. And in, and in nakedness. The clothes you got on. Who make your clothing? The enemy. They're enemies. Right? It's a punishment for what? Disobeying God's commandments. That's right. And in want of all things. In the want of all things. Anything you want in here in America, you have to go to your enemy to get it. That's Read. right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So it said this enemy was going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he had destroyed them. Meaning that before we came over here, we knew we were the Israelites. But he put those chains on us and broke us into calling us black. African men. We, we, we no longer called ourselves the Israelites. What? We were destroyed as a people. We accepted the white image of Christ. What? When the Bible tells you Christ is a black man with woolly hair. That's right. Give me 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, did we ever walk back into Egypt again? No, Egypt, Egypt mean, uh, it means another word. We're going to find out what Egypt means because we were in slavery in Egypt, right? Give me that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So, it said he brought us out of the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68 and get the full understanding. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again by the way whereof I speak. Read again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it said the Lord shall bring you into slavery again with ships. Who did that happen to? Who did that happen to, brother? Who did that happen to? Us. But who was Moses talking to? The Israelites. The curses was going to fall upon the Israelites if we broke God's commandments. Finish that out. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning our homeland, we wasn't going to see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And after we got off those ships here in America, 
It said we shall be sold to our enemies. Did that happen? What? That's showing you the Bible is a true book. That's Three. right. For bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man's going to save you from these curses. Michael Mack tried. Marcus Garvey tried. Rosa Parks tried. No one is going to save you from these curses. But the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. That's right. Give me, give me Luke 13 and 3. Now, no, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Now you knowing that your Israel is something you have to do. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Huh? And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now knowing that you Israel, God requires something of you. Read what he requires. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, mm -hmm. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thine soul, to keep the commandments to of the what? Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. That's what you gotta do, brother. You gotta keep all God's commandments. Cause how do you how do you get in the kingdom? Let's see how you get in the kingdom. Give me that Matthew 19, 16. We're gonna show you how to get in the kingdom. Once you learn you're Israel, you gotta repent, come back, keep God's law. Because the, the kingdom is only promised to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's, That's, right. Right. That's it. No one else. Read that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 17. Yeah. 16. 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this man came to Christ and said, What good thing must I do that I may inherit eternal life? Read. And he said, and, and he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. So Christ said, ain't nothing good but one. That is God. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. So if y'all want eternal life, listen up to what you must do. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, Keep the, the commandment. Keep the commandments if you want eternal life, brother. That's right. How you doing today, sis? We'll be out here doing, we teaching our people who we are. Doing good. That's why I stopped, because you're doing good. Yes, yes, brother. What's your name? Daisy Roach. Daisy Roach. I'm Jacob. How you doing? All right, Mr. Jacob. I'm so, fine. Bless. How are you feeling? Yeah, and, and that's right. That we are the Israelites. That's what right? we are. That's what we are. And we're showing them the laws, what they must do to get the kingdom. That's now, right. I'm going to show you a law, sister, that you must do if you want the kingdom. Give me the first John 5 and 3. Because I'm going to show you, because I'm pretty sure we all are here surprised say, we love God, right? Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that. Let's see what the love of God is. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So what's the love of God? Keep his commandments. Keep his commandments, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a commandment today you probably never heard, right? So if you love God, you I'm ahead, I'm ahead, I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says a woman shouldn't wear which pertaineth unto a man. What's that, sis? What's that? No, what, what's that? What, what when, you put on pants, when you put on pants and stuff, but then you got to go all the way to the okay. new law, to the New Testament. We, 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 That's law. <laughs> Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So it says, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's that, brother? What is a woman's garment? Skirt. Skirt, dresses, so a man shall put on a dress and a woman shall put on pants. Why? Because that's cross dressing. God right. said, don't do that. That's right. Finish that out. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So when you do those things, you're an abomination to God. Do y'all want to be abomination to God? No. no. Give me that in Sirach 15, 13. So let's see how God feels about abomination. Yeah. All right? God, God hates all abomination. And he don't want his people. We, we royal people. We should be walking around cross-dressing. Right. Read. So what? Chapter 15, verse 13. Uh -huh. The Lord hated all abominations. Yes. The Lord hates all abominations. You hear that, sis? You ain't preaching to me. Uh, uh, you ain't preaching to me. I know it. I know it. I know where I stand. Okay. Okay. I Read it again. I'm, li I'm just listening. So what? Chapter 15, verse 13. Uh -huh. The Lord hated all abomination. The Lord hates all abomination. Give me uh, Luke 13 and 3. Because what we are here to do is show our people who they are, how to repent, 
to get the kingdom of heaven because it's promised to you all. Read that. Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. So except y'all repent, ye shall all likewise perish. We don't want y'all to perish. That's why we out here today giving you this medicine. All right? All right? Give me that in uh, Acts 3.19. Acts. We're going to show you what it means to repent. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. It says repent and be converted. For what? Converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. Don't y'all want your sins blotted out? Don't y'all want to get in the kingdom of heaven? Right? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Give me that in Psalms 19 and 7. We're going to show you what it means to be converted, all right? Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Yep. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. So, what converts you? The law. The law converts you. The law is the truth. And the law is what's going to get you the kingdom of heaven. That's all right. right. Please. The testimony of the Lord is short. Making wise the simple. And it's going to make wise, the simple wise coming back in there keeping God's laws. Give me Matthew 5, 16. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. You know. you uh, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So, the Bible says, let your light shine before men, right? Want to know what the light is? Let's find out what the light is. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light. So, what's the light? The law. Everything revert back to the law. you got to keep the law if you want to get the kingdom. All right? Give me uh, go back to, uh, do y'all understand about Deuteronomy 22 and 5 about the pants? That a woman should be putting on dresses? Give me that in I first, first, I know, I know, first Timothy 2 and 9. Shouldn't be put, should put on dresses. Give me that. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So it says the woman should adorn themselves in modest apparel. Do y'all know what modest mean? I know, but modest, you tell me what you know. Modest mean not showing sexual attention to itself, being covered up, covering your body because you dress like that. You're causing your brother, brothers out here to lust at you, and you don't want to do that. You want to dress royal because you're a preacher. When you, for instance, right? Any of y'all been to a prom yeah. or a wedding? What you had on? Everything was covered up, probably by. You, know you had on dress, right? Why you had on pants? <laughs> huh? We never wore your pants to a prom. Cause why? Cause it's womanly to wear a dress. God said, "Don't be in pain." That's right. About that. He said his his uh, laws are not grievous. That's right. His laws are easy. You got to keep them to get in this kingdom. What you got? Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight. Yeah. And and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. So this is the same way. Christ comes back, he's going to put to death all those that's clothed in strange apparel. He already explained what the strange apparel is in the Bible. Man should be in the dress, woman should be in pants, right? You got that, sis? Yeah. You got it? So, 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 so what should you be in? A dress. So from now on, now that you know the law, you're gonna be held, you're gonna be held accountable from this day forth. So the next time you know the law, we should see you in pants. And not only that, I mean see you in no, dress. I see you in the dress. We should not see you in pants. We should see you in the dress. And look, give me a number 1538. This is something you huh? Yeah, watch me. Watch Numbers 1538. Because remember we showed you that the light was the law, right? The light is the law, right? Let's give you a law right now. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes 
in the borders of their garment. So he said, bid them to make the fringes in the border of the, our garments. You see these right here? These are called fringes, right? All right, read. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And that we'll put upon the fringe of border a ribbon of blue, as you see all these brothers had. This is commandment. This is the law that God gave to Moses to give to the Israelites. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So it's to remember all the commandments of the Lord in case we're in the midst of sin, we ought to look upon it and say, oh, I ain't supposed to be doing it. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.